Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the ESP32 Bluetooth read data for client. Okay. So, uh, in previous video, uh, we have discussed about the read data for server. Now it's time for the client. For the client, we need a two board. Okay. So here we have two board. One for the server, another one for the client. Both of them uh, is built on the ESP32 C3. One is used module, another one is used separate chip. Okay, so this is a hardware setting. Okay, so uh, next, let's take a look at the uh, software setting. So the software for the software. We will still use uh, uh, GATT server service table example. We have analyzed the call in previous video. The client call, we will go to the uh, IDF and uh, examples and uh, uh, Bluetooth and uh, BlueJoy and BLE. We will use the uh, uh, call is GATT client, this call, and the, the server call is this part. So the client call, we copy it. We put it into our micro folder. Put it to here. So uh, this call will download into the server board. This code will download into the client board. And uh, let's take a look at the uh, code. We need to change a little bit for the uh, read test. Okay. So first, let's take a look at the server code. The server code, uh, we need to recover to the original state. Uh, so we remove the previous changes. So change it to the uh, auto response. Okay, change it to here. So if you directly copy it from the uh, example folder, so no need to change this part. Okay. Because we use it uh, for previous video, we needed to remove the change for the previous video uh, from the previous video. Okay. The next, we need to change the read event. Remove this code uh, from the previous video. Okay. Save it. So next, uh, we also uh, do some change for the uh, for the client test. So here we will have the default characteristic value for uh, for the for the a uh, for the a correctest a. This is the value here, and also for the b, it's the same value. Okay, and for the C is also the same value. We do a little bit of change. Okay, we added one more characteristic value. So this value is specially for B. Okay, this B value will be uh five five six six seven seven. Eight. So this value is specially for B. We copy it and put it to the B. Uh, this is setting for B. So we put it here. So this is this is uh, value B specially for B. Okay. We save it. So the B value the characteristic. The UUID 
is this one. Okay, remember this UUID. We will use it uh, for the client call. Okay, so um, let's open the client example. Here is the uh, client examples. So uh, this is a code for the client. We analyze all the code in previous video, uh, in the client workflow video. Uh, we, on an, we analyze all the code. And we know, uh, we will know it will have the reduced notify function here. And for this reading function, we no need uh, notify. So we remove it here. And after this one, we added one more read function. So we added one more read function here. Okay, so this is the read function. It will read the correctest value from the server. Okay, so it has some parameter, input parameter. So this is the if interface. It will share the interface here. And this is connect ID. Uh, so it will share this connect ID. And this is the handle for the characteristic. And the handle will get it from here. Okay. And this is set it as none uh, authorization. Okay. So this is a read characteristic, and uh, it read which characteristic. As we know, we have the A, B, C three value we can read. So we take a look at this UUID uh, characteristic UUID. Okay. So it will read this characteristic. We go to define, and it set this notify uh, UUID. Uh, we go to define. So it is FF01. Okay. So we change it as FF02. We change this one as FF02. FF02, the value will be the B value. The B value is 55667788. Five, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, eight. So uh, we will see whether we can read this kind of value or not. Okay? So when we read the value, uh, it will retain one event, one read event for the client. Okay? So we needed to edit the client. Uh, event processing and uh, let's go to the uh, let's go to the read function so let's go to the uh, take a look at the position of for the uh, ESP uh, Bluetooth uh, GATTC client read Okay, it is here. So this code is added by uh, by our uh, just uh, by it added by us. Okay, so we add it here, and we will need one. Uh, we needed to processing to handle the read event. We add it here. We add it here. Okay. So this will be the case for the read event. So the read event added like this, okay? So this is a read event for client, the JTTC, C means client, the read event. When the uh, stack, the Bluetooth stack receive uh, the data, it will uh, report this event to the application layer. For the application here, we will print out what we will print out the read value and the read length. Okay, the read length print it out. Okay, so uh, I add it here. Okay, so we save it. Uh, we save it, and the next step, we need to compile to the 
uh, for the two for the server call and the client call and download it into different ball okay so so we open our command line interface and uh, uh, first we uh, we compile the server code first so we go into our code folder uh, cd my my code folder and uh, go into the uh, server code take a look at the server so this is the server code okay so gatt uh, server so is this code and the f if you first compile it you need to uh, set the target uh, set the target ESP32 C3 uh, for our case it's use this one and you can use S3 or whatever and this is set target and then uh, build it so I already set it before so for my case I just build it okay just a moment where did it finish the compile? So it finished the compile and uh, we needed to download it into the ball and uh, because I have two ball here uh, connected to the different uh, USB port so I needed to specify the port okay so this is a command 3 okay I fresh it okay it's freshen Okay, so this is for the server side. I already fresh the latest code. And the next, we need to uh, open another command line interface here. And I need to compile the uh, client call. Okay, just a moment. Oh, okay, so this is the client. Uh, let's go into my code folder and this is for the client GATT client and here because I just copied from the example folder so I needed to set the target I needed to set the target and uh, uh, wait it finish just a moment So it finished the certain target and uh, I need to uh, build it. So uh, it will take some time and uh, I pause the video for a moment. Okay, so now it finished. It's time for the fresh. Okay, I fresh it to uh, another port, which is command four. Okay, it's different port. Okay, so uh, fresh. So it's fresh. Take a few moments. Okay, so it finished. So let's open our monitor for the uh, for the server first. So this is the monitor. Okay, it's running. 
and also we will open the monitor for the uh, for the client so this is the client to see whether we can read the value or not okay okay so uh, read it very quickly so this is five five six six seven seven eight eight so uh, exactly we set it in our server so this is uh, b value value b uh, five five six six seven seven eight okay so uh so here we uh, show how to uh, read data for the client side okay okay so uh this is this video i'm michael see you next time